ChatGPT just launched a brand new feature that allows you to give it MCP access to any external tool or any external data. What does this mean? That you can now give ChatGPT access to things like your Gmail, your calendar, your Google Drive, and any other app that you want. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how you could do this, what features you could actually use with this, and I'm gonna be comparing this to Claude's latest update so we could see whether or not ChatGPT or Claude is better for this. Okay, now when it comes to actually using this new feature, here's what you need to do. You are going to pull up ChatGPT. You are going to come to the top right hand corner. You're going to click on settings. You are now going to see connectors right here. And then as you'll see, you will be able to connect this to things like Box, Dropbox, GitHub, Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, HubSpot, and all the rest of these. Now, in addition to that, if you click on create right here, you will see that you can now add a new connector. Now, this does say that this is a beta intended feature for developers only, but if we click on this, you're going to see that all that basically means is they're just trying to be very careful about what they actually give you access to with MCP because you could hook up to something that you didn't want to hook up to. So if you're going to use this, please just make sure that that MCP server is coming from a reputable company from a reputable source and not some random thing because you want to make sure that you can confidently click this that says I trust this application and that custom connectors are not verified by OpenAI. So basically they're just trying to get rid of all liability. If we click on read the guide right here, this will show you exactly how you can set up an MCP server, how you can build one and all of this jazz right here. Now, I don't actually want to go through that for this video. Maybe I'll make a full video about actually setting up MCP servers with OpenAI. If you want me to do that, please leave a comment about that below. What I wanted to show you right here is that you can now connect to all these different apps. And by the way, when I said connecting to an MCP server, I meant like actually setting one up and like going through this, building a server and all of that jazz. So if we come over here, we can see that we can now connect to all these different things. But actually, before I show you this, I wanted to show you another new feature that they dropped with this. I haven't been able to find it yet, but they should be rolling it out to everybody. And TechCrunch was actually who supported on this right now. So we could now see that ChatGPT introduces meeting recording. Now, if I do a control find on here for what that actually means, when we come down here, we can see that recording and transcription of meetings is now a table stakes feature of productivity suites. It's also now available. This feature can generate notes with timestamp citations, suggested actions, and users will be able to query for information in their meeting notes as they can with documents and files across the integrated services. In addition to that, you can now convert action items into a Canvas document, which is OpenAI's tool for writing and coding projects. Now, this says that this feature actually competes with ClickUp, Zoom, and more recently Notion. So as we can see, ChatGPT is just trying to get more and more involved in your life, which personally I think is a good thing. And I think the same exact thing is going to happen when they come out with that device that you are going to be wearing on yourself. It is then going to have access to what you're doing on a computer and what's happening in real life to have full integration because that is where AI is really going to be incredibly powerful. So let's say that we actually want to connect this to our Gmail right here. We could come in here. We could see what it works with. We could see the category. We could see the developer, the website, the privacy policy. As we could see here, they're trying to take this very serious and they're trying to only only get you to connect to MCP to things that you actually trust. So connect to Gmail, permissions always respected, private and secure, you're in control of your data. I'm gonna click continue right here. We're going to hook this up to one of my random emails right here. We're gonna click connect. We could see that it is able to do all these things. We can come down here to continue right here. And what you are going to be able to notice now is that this is now hooked up and you could see exactly what it could be used for. If we wanted to get rid of it, we just come into manage, we come into disconnect, we would get rid of it right here. But now what I am going to be able to do is come over here. I can come into resource and I can turn on Gmail. So if I wanted to do deep research now, I could have it connect to the web. I could have it connect to Gmail. I can also have it connect to all of these other things. Now, this is going to allow you to run a deep research report and take into consideration all the things that you might have across all of these. For example, if we come over here, into this email, I'm going to see what types of things I actually have in here so that we can run a deep research report and actually see what it returns. So if we pull up this random email right here, we're going to see a bunch of things. So what I am actually going to do is I'm going to come over to ChatGPT. I'm going to say, please write me a detailed report about AI automation 
school. So the reason that I did that is because there are a bunch of different emails in here. So could you please clarify what specific aspects you're looking for? For example, are you looking for an overview? I'm going to say all of the above. Now, this is going to go ahead and this is actually going to start doing this. And as we can see here, it is starting its research and it will be able to take into consideration anything that's in my Gmail or any of the other integrations had I actually set those up here. Now, before we dive into whether ChatGPT's MCP or Claude's MCP is better, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI changes. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Okay, so now that I showed you that and we have this report actually running here, I wanted to to pull up Claude right here so we could see also what Claude is able to do. So what we can now do in Claude is we can come over to connect apps and we can connect this to GitHub, to Gmail, to Google Calendar, to Google Drive, and we could come in here and connect all of that. But in addition to that, if you click on right here, you can now come over here to add integrations. And what this is going to allow you to do is set up other integrations from within Claude. And again, Claude released this yesterday, ChatGPT released this today, and my main goal here is to actually break down which one of these is actually better. So we can see right off the bat that Claude here has less just out of the box integrations than what ChatGPT has, but what we could do with Claude is we could add in other integrations. For example, I made a new Zapier custom right here. We could click on connect. This is probably going to say that it's not going to work because I need to go through and actually set this up. So give me one second to pull up my MCP and I'm going to actually go through and get this set up so I could show you this. Okay, so I pulled up Zapier MCP here. We're going to come in to connect right here. We're going to copy this URL. We're going to come back over to Claude. We're going to paste this in here. We are going to click add. And now what this should allow us to do, and we can see here that, you know, confirm that you trust this integration. All of these different platforms are really freaking out about giving people access to do this. We're clicking on add and we could see that this has gone through, this has been added, and this has actually been connected. Now, if I come into Zapier over here, we're going to click on configure. I am going to pull up Gmail because what we did was connect the other one to Gmail. And I'm going to click this right here, add all Gmail tools. And this just allowed me to add in every single Gmail tool into Zapier. Now, if I come back over to Claude, I can refresh this and this should actually show in here. So if we come into a new chat, you're going to be able to see that I can come over here I can click on this and I can see all of these different tools here. Now, the reason that I think Claude, and this is a spoiler alert, I think that Claude actually did a way better job with these integrations right here is because we can do way more things. So Gmail, search, calendar, search, drive, search, Zapier, I can integrate it here and I could say something along the lines of, please summarize my last five emails in Gmail. And guess what? this can actually go ahead and actually do this now that it has this integration. So we'll see, I'll search your Gmail for your last five emails. It is going to ask me, it says Claude wants to use an external integration. I'm going to say allow always. And this goes through and actually puts in a request to my Gmail. Now, if we come over to ChatGPT, and in fact, we'll just open up a new window here, we can come over here into tools. Again, the only way for me to access my Gmail is to actually come into research and enable this right here. So I'm going to say something along the lines of, please, you know what, I'm actually just going to come over here. And I am going to just get this prompt. We're going to come over here. We're going to paste this over here. Let's see. So this actually tells me I cannot access your Gmail directly, but I will help you summarize your last five e emails if you can copy and paste them in here or forward the content. So this comes over here and gives me a bunch of different ways to do this. But guess what? This isn't actually able to do this. So even though I was able to come through here and I was able to come into settings, I was able to come into connectors and I was able to give this access to my Gmail it only has access with the deep research feature, which quite frankly, I think is a huge miss on ChatGPT's part. Now, if we come back into Claude right here, we could see that it actually search our messages. So I have an email summary of my last five emails and all of these different things that were actually in my email. And again, I could get this to go through and draft replies to my email. I could get this to do so many other things. So if I had to choose one right now, 
I would say that Claude has way better MCP access because it allows you to access way more tools. It's way easier. Yes, there are less things that actually come out of the box with these integrations, but we can set up our own custom MCP servers with no issue very easily. We can also use these different tools for research the same exact way that we can with ChatGPT. But as we can see here, this ChatGPT feature is kind of useless because it just doesn't allow me to do the things that I actually want to do with all these different tools that I'm giving it access to with MCP. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Otherwise, I would watch this video right here that shows you a brand new tool that allows you to build websites with just one click. I'll see you over there.